really why so I, I want it to be crisp. I want it to be playing well. I don't want to have to lag. And then on top of everything else, I can't allow WoW into my life because then all the other games <laughs> would fade away. Hello and welcome. My name's Jay Yee, and with me today is my good old friend, Alexander Gonzalez. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. But please remember that we are not game devs. How are you today, Alex? I'm doing okay, you know? Um, just going through World of Warcraft withdrawals. How about you? I thought you weren't going through World of Warcraft. I am and I'm not, you know? I just want to play some multiplayer game somewhere. I'm telling you, man. Final Fantasy fourteen. Final Fantasy fourteen free trial. You can go up to level 60 with all the classes. You can switch classes whenever you want. It's very, very good. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Sounds like a Rick and Morty salesman. <laughs> and you can do this and that. And you can go and you can be fantasy. <laughs> and look at these cat ears, man. Don't you think the cat ears are cool? Final Fantasy fourteen. It's all the Final Fantasy that you need. <laughs> but those are not the MMOs we were talking about today. Today, we are creating something new every week. We are not game devs who create a new exciting video game idea that we have always wanted to play, but not have any knowledge or know how to create the wonderful experience that are video games. Today is my turn to present We Are Not Game Devs, 153rd IP. Now, let me preface this by saying I've been watching a lot of pirate content. That being said, there's not that much pirate content out there, but I've been watching a lot of it. Uh, I'm watching two things right now very, very heavily. One of them I've been watching but kind of dropped off because it's on Hulu and I hate Hulu ads. But Black Sails and also One Piece. And One Piece, dude, I forgot how good One Piece is. It it's is. So Where are you at? I told you you don't have to even like catch up because seven minutes of the previous episodes are catching you up anyway. I mean, I'm fine with where I'm at because I'm enjoying the ride, man. I re- started rewatch or start watching the anime for the first time because I've only read the manga uh, around chapter I want to say 40, and that was like about a month ago. I am currently on like chapter 120 in like uh, Luf- or everyone has the Straw Hats have beaten all of Baroque, ro- uh, Baroque works pretty much, and we're just waiting for Luffy to come back after almost getting killed by Crocodile, to bring Crocodile down. And, dude. Oh, yeah. Crocodile. The highs of the highs in One Piece are so good. Like, some of the most epic anime moments I could ever remember, just in general. Like, these moments are just great. Like, such good build-up, such good tension, such good character building. And everyone's so related to somebody somehow. Uh where like where i'm at there's like former employees of crew members who have been on different islands at different times and that's broken relationships rewatch the entire thing from the beginning because they do that shit where they introduce a character that they haven't talked about for like 50 chapters and they just expect you to remember who this person is and so i'm enjoying my time with one piece i i think everyone should give it a shot get past the weird art style and at least get to the croc- crocodile arc and, finish <laughs> and it. get the one thing you have to get past too is that every villain's gonna have a signature laugh wait 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 mama 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 it's like their each one has its own thing yeah yeah uh, but we digress, 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 D- digress, digress. Uh, let's get into the game. So I've been into all this pirate stuff. Um, specifically, I want to talk about the last episode of Black Sails because there's a moment they went into a storm and after the storm, mo- half their crew is like gone and they <laughs> are Shit. becalmed. Uh, there's no wind and there's, oh, stuck. so they're not going anywhere. And most of their food and stuff has been gone because they just hit, were in a storm. And so all their stuff got washed away and their ship is in disrepair. This game takes place in a similar atmosphere. Bless you. He sneezed, but he I muted, I muted the mic. I, I saw. So. Uh, and you just got out of a storm. Oh, most of your crew, crew that you have been friends with brothers with these guys have sailed the seas went to the storm and now most of their crew is lost and they're not going anywhere and 
what I want this game to be like is sort of like a triple A version of Among Us, but on a pirate ship or a, a ship, and you're not going anywhere, but it has like small context clues of story. So you, I think it's going to feel more like uh, Dead by Daylight or like Friday the 13th, where you pick a character and the character is going to have special perks towards them. And while you're exploring and doing your like objectives that you have to do to like fix the ship or whatever to get your ship out of there as the goal um you find out more about your character's story about their relationship with the other people on the crew and all that stuff and then maybe as you learn this stuff you'll get like a secondary objective or something where you have to kill another crew member because of an old grudge or something like that and then that's the game where it's a multiplayer game. You drop, get dropped in with like, I want to say like 16 other players, but there's other NPCs on this ship that are just walking around that you could talk to and stuff. And that's like what you're doing. And eventually you either have to fix the ship and go, or maybe there is just one character or a couple characters where they're given a secondary objective to kill someone. And then you got to figure out who it is and then blah, blah. Like mafia, but pirate ships. Exactly. And you're playing it. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. Um, we usually don't do this first, but I want to know how are we viewing this game? Is it going to be like isometric, where it's it's a map and everyone's looking down at it, or? No, I want it to be a third person over the shoulder kind of vibe, more like Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th. So you're going to see your character and then the environments are going to be 3D. It's going to look good, but not like, oh my God, amazing. good. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's going to have like janky looking graphics, but it's going to look decent enough where you're going to feel like you're a pirate on this. I, that's what I want to convey is that you're on this pirate ship. It's going to have like three levels or whatever, the deck, the hold, um cargo and then maybe uh one more for like the food and like where the quarters and stuff like that i don't know the names of the ship i should being such a big pirate fan but i don't know exactly what they're all called the brig yeah, the yeah exactly the brig captain's chamber captain's well, chamber's on the deck but yeah captain's quarters let me see here captain's quarters but it's usually so, they have like the deck captain's quarters and then right below it was like the like the cruise quarters and also where they have like food and stuff or like a kitchen and mess hall and stuff and then they have the layer that's like where they do all they keep all the food and like storage and then below that is where they have like um i don't know other random stuff i don't really know but yeah so there'll probably be like maybe three or four objectives that switch out every game that the crew would have to complete like restore food which means like fish collect food and then like repair the ship or mm -hmm. find a new island to go to and set course and then maybe there's another person who has to start a mutiny so he talks to different people and starts converting them over yeah i i just had an idea where because i do want this to feel not quite as samey every round like uh among us kind of feels i kind of want it so each character has their own story that you learn about um maybe what it could be is each character there's like the random stuff the random objectives like you were saying where it's like yeah go repair the mast uh fill holes uh i don't know cook or something there's also objectives that are specific to each character and those are like the story quests where if you do it you learn something about that character where it's like if you're the navigator for this crew you do go and plot out the next point you do go and talk to the captain about a specific thing and these are going to be like more story missions that further the objective bar overall but just give the players a little bit more understanding about what's happening on the ship between the characters and why someone might want to kill someone and then maybe every single character that you could choose among all could randomly get the mutineer um, objective or the, or the craze objective. Like every round one random character is given that role to be the disruptor 
and you have to like they'll get like different quests from everyone else to like further their objective and they'll have a story reason why during this instance that character is the one that's committing the murders so like every round a different character would be chosen and then they'll have a different story as to why that particular character that time around decided to murder like maybe one time the navigator is the killer one time the navigator isn't the killer and they'll have different stories i issues. see so it'll be like almost like different plays on the same ship exactly yeah yeah okay so that'll be fun uh we can also do different kills and different stuff depending on who it is like the navigator might have to plan and uh get certain people like uh the lookout and other people to mutiny with them so they steer their ship into a port that it can be robbed or steered into an iceberg whereas maybe the cook would prepare food to give everybody scurvy yeah and maybe the NPCs do play a role in this game where there are other crew members that are named, but they're not like playable characters. And maybe it, with DLC, we'll make some of these guys playable characters. Um, but you could turn them, you could talk to them, you could like make them do specific things if your objective asks you to do so. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how would somebody playing the side that doesn't mutiny, who regularly upkeeps the ship, be able to stumble upon and expose? Or do they beat the mutineer? You know what I'm saying? Like, Do, do they eventually yeah. find out and have to guess at the end of their gameplay if they don't find it sooner? Right. So I think... A Eventually, if you do enough objectives, you do get your ship up and running and underway, and that's how they would win. But if they do find like a dead body, maybe there is like that conference mode part of Among Us where they stop and they have to like hold a meeting and then talk amongst the crew members like, hey, we found one of our crew members dead or whatever. We, we got to figure out what's going on here. Um, and maybe it could be like, yeah, maybe the chef poisoned all the dudes and they're like, oh, it's obvious the chef because all these NBCs died because um, because they ate something. But then maybe someone poisoned the food without the chef knowing, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And so maybe that's uh -huh. how it's going to play out is like it's going to play out like Among Us, but. The way that you the way that you figure it out isn't by asking someone, where were you? doing what objective because everyone's going to have their own objectives depending on what character they chose maybe it's more like trying to piece together um what character you are what role you play and how the people were killed that you found killed uh and try to piece together that you know what i mean and i think more npcs will be getting killed in this game rather than player characters so it's going to be a little yeah. bit different in that way where player characters are all running around doing their own thing and then they the npcs are who you're interacting with to either like do objectives with or kill them or uh turn them against like the rest of the crew do you think this game would benefit from a day night cycle i don't think so just because the way that we are planning it to be a multiplayer game i feel like these runs are going to be pretty short uh, maybe it's going to be more like there's random instances where sometimes you start off and it's daytime and then maybe when you start off it's nighttime maybe when you start off it's like dusk or something like that oh yeah or maybe so random like things maps. can happen yeah like a storm happens right right like random events or like random things that could happen in the middle of it get attacked by a kraken randomly get a headwind and go really fast towards the objective Mm -hmm. and that, that'll that make it harder for the mutineer or whatever now do you want there to be one mutineer or should there be multiple depending on how many people are playing I think maybe it should be I think it should just be one Um, no matter how many people are playing just because I feel like 
in a game like this, people won't be communicating as much as they would in like an Among Us. I feel like this is more of a game that people would want to just play online on their couch at home rather than with friends. I don't know why I feel that way. I just feel like that's the vibe of this. Sure, I think a lot of friends would play together, uh, but I think a lot of the time people would be playing solo on this one. Um, so I think it would be harder to find the mutineer or the killer or whatever their objective is, but that's just me. What do you think? <clears throat> I worry about it. I think that if there's a couple key things that the mutineer does, someone may be able to spot it out right away. But if the objectives are diverse enough and it can be almost maybe like a hitman style thing where they can do multiple things to mess up the ship, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Without it being the same thing every time, <laughs> like they have multiple paths to victory, right. then it would be okay. I think it is going to be that way where they could do a bunch of stuff. Like they could do a key thing. Maybe the mutineer or the killer, their goal is to... So the there's like the gauge at the top left or whatever the screen if you're not a mutineer to try to get the ship ready to go underway to leave where you are and then if you are the mutineer slash killer um i think the gauge is more like how much of the crew did you either turn against the captain or uh killed off so it's totally impossible so i think it's like a time thing like the mutineer is trying to do everything in a quick way where he won't get caught but fast enough where it is impossible at, at a certain point to leave okay um <clears throat> and i also think that maybe that there will be like like you said like a bunch of different like you don't have to do like a major objective based kill of an npc like poisoning all everyone's food for example maybe <laughs> instead you just kill npcs one at a time without getting noticed but like if, if you do really, do that objective, really drunk yeah um stuff like that but if you do something bigger like that you gain more progress towards your bar a lot quicker so just so i get a better idea in my head of what this game looks like. You said it's third person. What kind of graphics are we seeing here? Uh, I think like, like I mentioned earlier, kind of like Dead by Daylight. I don't know if you know what Dead by Daylight looks like or Friday the 13th, but it, it looks like a PS3 level graphically game where it's... Okay. Looks good, but it doesn't look amazing. All right, all right, all right. I see. I think I see where you're coming from here. <clears throat> So you're going to be wandering through a ship. Will there be, are we going to make different ships then? Different layouts of different ships? Maybe there'll be pirate ships. Maybe there'll be a merchant class ship. Maybe there'll be a stuff like that. That would change it up, huh? Like a casting crew change? Yeah, I think eventually we would start adding more ships and more crew members, more playable characters and all that stuff. Um, but I don't think it's going to be like themed like that. I think it's going to be more the size of ship. So maybe the first ship we release will be the normal size, like frigate or whatever. But then one DLC, we add like the man of war DLC where it's like 32 players. And that's like a bunch of people. And then sometimes it'll be like way smaller, not like sloop size, maybe sloop size, but like really small ships and stuff like that. I see. I see. All, All right. right. Well, I guess let's talk about music. I mean, has sea to be, shanties, right? Yeah, sea shanties, accordions, <laughs> violins, yeah, <clears throat> uh, jug bottle stuff, harmonicas, just you know what I mean. Yeah, there's no other. There's no other way to put it. Just um, kind of like that music, um, acapella esque. Yeah, it's something you could play on a pirate ship type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pricing, how much are you willing to pay? I say about thirty bucks. Yeah, thirty twenty around there. All right, Alex, it's time to start your timer because it's time to name this game. I don't know why it took me so long. All right. Did you start it? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have started it anyway because it's going to be called Becalmed. Becalmed? <laughs> I shouldn't have. 
I I felt a certain way that you sent that word before, and I was like, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone use the name becalmed. Is that only used in reference to ships? I think so, yeah. Here, I'm looking it up. Ships oh my god, becalm. Sea. Leave. Unable to move through lack of wind. Yeah, all right, becalmed it is. Fuck it. It's literally for no other reason but that. That makes sense. Becalmed in no seconds. Becalmed is a third person seafaring game where you play as a crew member on a pirate ship. You have to interact with different crew members, get along, and carry towards your objective unless you're one of the members staged to create a mutiny. Then you must sow distrust. I forgot the word for... What is it called? Uh, no, not established, not massacre. What is it called when you're trying to um, ruin something? Um, I don't know. Foil their plan. Foil is is good, but it's like you're you're trying to set it up so like it it, it backfires. Conspire. Foil <laughs> the pirates' plans. Make it backfire in their face. In Becalmed. All right. So I think we have a game here, Alex. What do you think? Would this be a game you'd want to play? And is it fun? Yeah, it'd be a game I'd want to play. I'd have a lot of fun doing this. Um, the pirate setting, for once, I think would be better than the sci-fi setting that Among Us has. I think mm. it has more character to it. How yeah. about you, Jay? I mean, I liked what I played of Among Us, but I just couldn't. I got in too late and people started asking questions that obviously was the meta. And I was like, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Where was I during and the what? What are you guys talking about right now? What are these room names? But no matter how late I get into this game, obviously I'll be there day one. But if I even got there a year later, I'd be like, fuck, where has this game been my whole life? Like, I, this just sounds like a great, great, awesome pirate sim game for me. Uh, especially after playing Return of the Obra Dinn, which is literally this game, but gamified version of, of Return of the Obra Dinn, which is already a game. Uh, but I think I think it would be great. I would love to play this game. Now that we have a complete game, what game studio would you sign to be able to make Becalmed the best? Do you want me to go first? I mean, mine is pretty obvious. Lucas Pope who made Return of the Obra Dinn, and also the Among Us team, uh, just because they were working on Among Us 2, and now they aren't because Among Us is doing well. But I think they could open their vision as to what Among Us could be and make it a bigger, more fuller experience with story involved and quips and better graphics and like characters talking to each other and having like more of a more of a lore than just these dudes on a spaceship and someone kills everyone. I'm thinking about Eric Barron, Sickhead Games, and Concerned Ape, the makers or developers behind Stardew Valley. Mm. I think they would make it so that each character had a really cool, complex story that you would want to learn more about and maybe discover complexities through different playthroughs and maybe whether you are mutinous or not. Uh, besides that, I don't know. Let's just throw a wild one out there. Telltale, the new Telltale. We'll give it to them. Okay, all right. The new Telltale. That's and always with, good. Yeah, why not? And with that, 153rd IP has gone gold. We hope you look forward to this experience that will probably never release. You can write to atpoundgames at gmail.com if you have anything to patch to the game we created today. Also, give us feedback. We are still learning how to make the show better, and your feedback really helps. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to back our ideas, please head over to patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. Patrons receive episodes two days early and an extra podcast at the beginning, which caught the tail end of our conversation at the beginning of this episode. That's patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. If you like the show, why not subscribe and give us all the stars on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Store, Spotify, YouTube, and more. And if they ask for review, instead of reviewing our show, become your inner game critic and review Be Calmed, the video game we just created. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next Friday with another new IP. 
Again, my name is Jay Yi. And my name is Alex Gonzalez. Thank you, and please remember that we are not game devs. I can't find that fucking word, man. I tried looking up synonyms for ruin, mess up, destroy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where, like, it's a word that uh-huh. is, like, imagine, like, I tried to play my switch uh-huh. or I tried to like do something for a presentation. You're like, I want to foil that. I want to ruin it. So then you mess with it. So then my presentation doesn't go up or it becomes the opposite, like an embarrassing picture of me or something. I, I got nothing. Fuck. Well, right in. It's something. I know it's there. I think I can do it. Sabotage! Yeah! Sabotage is what I was looking for all the way through. Thank you. I mean, please remember we are not game devs.